Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today I wanted to make this quick video where I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an API, API request to any API you want using React. This is more of a beginner's video, so if you're a beginner, I would recommend watching the video. And I'm going to be using something called Axios, which is a really nice library in React. And I'm also going to be teaching you at the end how to use the fetch function, which comes with JavaScript. But I would actually recommend using Axios, which in my opinion is a lot better, but I'm going to be showing both ways so you guys don't get confused. And before we get into the video, if you guys could drop a like or comment down below, I would really appreciate it because I'm posting every single day and it would really help a lot. So as you can see right here, we have a simple React application that just says, hello, YouTube. It has nothing added to it and we're gonna add it on our own. So you can see that the application is running and basically what we want is we wanna make an API request to a free API. And if you don't know what API is, an API is basically anything, any type of application that can be hosted on another project, anything that we can use to add to our project. And this would include, for example, having access to a database. So I got this API right here, which is called official joke API. And it's free, it's completely, it's very easy to use. And this is why I chose this for this video, you can see that we can just try to reach the endpoint random joke, and it will drop a random joke to our face. So for example, this one is, uh, if you're an American, you when you go into the bathroom, and Americans when you come out, what are you what are you when you're in there and the punchline is european i don't i don't have i don't even want to try to understand that but that's okay so basically this is the api that we're going to be using i'm going to drop the link for the api in the description if you want to see it's really like you can choose any api actually i'm going to drop also the uh, a github repository with a bunch like a, a hundred or 200 different free apis that you can use and you can make different projects with it so the first thing we want to do is we want to download Axios. So if you come here to our to your project, you want to open a terminal. And if you're using yarn, you can write yarn add Axios like this right here. But if you're using npm, you can just write npm install Axios. And I have already installed it in my, my computer, but it's extremely fast. And it should be done really quick. When you have Axios installed, you want to import Axios. You can come here to the top and say import Axios from Axios. And Axios will allow you to make a GET request to any endpoint that you want. So specifically in this one, we want to come here and just create a function, for example. So I'm going to create a function called uh, GET JOKE. And it's going to basically be a function that whenever we call it, we're going to get a joke, we're going to receive a, a joke, we're going to display a joke in our screen. And in order to do that, we want to write axios dot get. And basically, when we when we say get, we basically are getting everything that is like every response given by the URL or the endpoint that we grab. So you can see that when we try to reach this endpoint right here, this is a get request. Basically, we're trying to reach it and whatever is responded over here is whatever the get request received. So when we just try to reach this endpoint right here, so I'm going to copy this, and we come here, and we can just say here, put a URL, if we pass this, this is going to receive this right here. So it's going to receive the joke that we that, that it's going to be displayed. So right after the x dot get, we can make a dot then if you don't know what what this means, basically, this is a promise, meaning that we're going to try to make the response, the, re the request first for the API. And after it receives it's going to run a function which will receive the response, meaning this right here, this right here, this is the response, and it's going to start in a variable called response. And now inside of here, we can pass whatever we can do whatever we want. Initially, let's just console.log the the response, meaning we want to see the joke in our in our console, right. But also one thing that is important to understand is currently we don't have anywhere where we can call this get joke thing. So let's create a button very quickly here. So we can create a button saying that it's going to say get joke right now. And it's going to appear in our screen. It's over here. And let's plus let's pass an on click event, right? So let's pass on click. And on on an on click event, we can just pass the get joke function. And whenever we click on this button, it's going to call this function, which inside of it is going to make the x use request to that API. So let's save this. And let's open our uh, console log. So over here, if everything is working, we should click on this and 
a random joke should appear in our console. So we're gonna click over here. You can see that we received, we made the request. It says that it was successful and there's something called data and the data basically is the response. As you can see right here, it gave us a joke, which again, this time it says, why did the worker get fired from the orange juice factory? And the punchline was lack of concentration. That is the worst joke I've ever heard, but that's okay. So you can see it's working. And if we want to display this, we can easily just create, a, I don't know, um, maybe a state. So if you guys know what how to work with states, we can just come here and say const um, joke set joke. And it's going to be a state that is going to basically uh, basically store the joke, right? So it's going to be a string. And we can just come here. And by the way, let's take a look at the data that we receive. So we're receiving an object, as we mentioned, as the response. And instead of here, it has a data property. So instead of this data property, there includes everything that is responded by the API request. As you can see, there's the punchline, there's the setup, there's even the type of the joke, and there's even the ID of the joke. So there's apparently more than 300 jokes in this API, which is really cool. So what we want to do is we're going to grab the we're going to set the joke. So set joke equal to the response dot data dot setup plus the so we're basically going to this is the setup is a question as you can see, right? So we're going to add, I don't know, three dots after the, the setup. And after everything, let's add the response dot data dot punchline. So we're gonna, we're gonna display everything inside of the set joke. So punch line. Okay, and here at the bottom, we can just call the joke inside of two curly braces, meaning that we're going to display whatever is this joke variable right here. So let's save this. And let's actually remove this. And now let's click on this and get joke should display something in our screen. Why is Peter, Peter Pan always flying? Because he never lands. That's actually a bit a little bit better than the last one. But as you can see, it's working perfectly. And this is basically how you make an, an API request using Axios. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to make an API request using the fetch function from JavaScript. If you don't want to get too complicated, I honestly recommend using Axios. But in, just so you guys know, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use fetch. Okay, so in order to actually use the fetch uh, function instead of the Axios, you actually need to remove axios.get and just include fetch. It's already a built in thing in JavaScript. So you can just pass the fetch. However, there is some stuff that are a bit different. One of them is that we actually need to copy this uh, set joke thing. And we're not going to do that instead of the response. Basically, the idea of uh, fetch is that let me let me just uh, change this a bit. Well, when you use fetch, you want to after the dot then and you're grabbing the response, you want to say that response dot JSON. So response dot JSON, this is basically going to um, uh, turn the response and parse it into a JSON object. So that when we come here, and we say dot, then we can just pass grab the data that comes from that response. So data, and we can just come here and create a function that will do the same thing. But instead of grabbing response.data, it's just going to grab the data. And we can just remove this and we can save this. So this is the basic standard fetch dot then response.json dot then data and then the set joke. So we can come here and click right here and you can see that another joke appears. Why didn't the number four get into the nightclub? Because he is too square. I don't what? I don't even understand that, but that's okay. So basically, this is it. This is the what I wanted to make in this video. I'm, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is I would actually recommend using Axios as I mentioned before, because as you can see, using fetch is weird. I don't know why you would use fetch instead of Axios. The only thing is that with fetch, you can customize more your headers, there's different aspects that you can work with in fetch that you can't do in Axios. However, Honestly, I would recommend using Axios. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more. And I see you guys next time.